Sometimes you need a map in your Affinity projects and in this video we'll take a look at QGIS to generate a reusable map for Affinity. QGIS is an open source tool for viewing, editing, printing and analysis of geospatial data. The link for QGIS website will be in the description. After installing and launching the QGIS application on your computer, create a new project in it. This will open up a blank screen and to get a map, just type in the word world in the coordinate input located at the bottom left. We'll get a nice map of the world. Using the mouse scroll wheel, we can zoom in and out in the map and while the pan tool is selected, we can move the map around the canvas. I'll zoom into Europe and position the map to include the countries I'm interested in. Time to select the countries we want to export from this map. To do that, press the Select Features by icon in the toolbar. To select a range of countries, just drag and move the mouse over the countries to get them selected. By using the Shift mouse click, we can add or remove countries from our selection. Once we have the desired countries selected, we need to create a new layer from our selection for export. To create this new layer, go to the Layers panel and right-click on the World Map layer. From the pop-up menu, use Export and then select Save Features. This will open up a Save Vector Layers as dialog. Give it a name and make sure Save Map to File checkbox is selected and press OK. If you get an error message, make sure to select the path in the file name. If all goes well, you will get this notification at the top and the layer we created from our selection is added to the layers panel. I'm no longer interested in the world map, so I'll switch that off for the time being. QGIS has a lot of customization options, but I'm only interested in the vector output as I will do the customization in Affinity Photo. In order to export our map, we need to create a new print layout by clicking on the new print layout icon. Give it a name and press OK. This will open up a new window, which allows us to create a print or export view based on the layer data we have in the QGIS main application. Click on the canvas to enable the page properties. First, let's set the size and orientation of our output. As I'm going to export it as an SVG, it doesn't really matter, but let's set it to widescreen. The second step is to change the background of the canvas. Currently, it is white and to make it transparent, we can lower the opacity to zero. Excellent. Now our export canvas is ready. We now need to add the map layer we created earlier. To do that, we'll use the Add Map tool. With the tool selected, we can draw the area where our map should be in the output. I'll just select the whole canvas. As I'm only interested in the map, there is no need to add anything else. To export the print output, we can go to one of the export buttons on the toolbar. The export as image button only allows the export bitmap format, so make sure to use the export as SVG button. You probably will get a warning message, just ignore it and select the location where you want to save your SVG file. We also get some export options, which I usually do not modify. After pressing save, our map will be saved as an SVG. We can now close this print designer window and switch to Affinity Photo to use the map. I'll create a new document by pressing Ctrl or Command N and choose the widescreen template. The easiest way to import our map is just using drag and drop. I'll open Explorer and drag the exported file into Affinity Photo. The SVG file is now inside our document as an embedded file. We can double click to open the embedded file. Now I have access to all the curves and objects. I'll do a quick cleanup of the unnecessary layers and then copy the group containing all the layers for the map. Let's close the embedded file and paste the copied group in our document. The embedded file layer can also be removed as we just copied everything over. Before actually working on the design with a map, you probably want to do a bit of cleanup. The map we imported contains probably a lot of small areas which are not very useful. So I'm removing all these small areas from the group. 
Next, I'll group the layer per country and give them each a different color after I merge the groups to a single curve. For clarity, let's also add a blue fill as the background for the time being and of course our title for the graphic. Next, I'll make a duplicate of the countries group and then fill the countries with their flags by copying and pasting the country flags into Affinity. By making the flag as a child of the country curve, it will get clipped. And with a little bit of resizing and repositioning, we do get a very nice result. So I repeated these steps for all countries, listed the country flags and the corresponding traditional food. I'm no expert on food, but the info I use feels a little bit off. Pretzels for hmm. Germany? Well, don't hesitate to share in the comments if you also feel that this list is incorrect. Time for some fine tuning. First, let's fix the title. Then, I'll use the copy of the countries group to draw the borders, group everything, give it a nice perspective and a drop shadow for a bit more depth. Finally, let's add a background overlay and adjust the colors to get a nice composition. With the help of QGIS, we were able to quickly create a map and use this in Affinity Photo. QGIS is a pretty powerful tool and we only scratch the surface of its capabilities. I hope you found this video useful and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave. Until the next video.